Hello, I'm Ensign Harold. You may remember me from such films as Dude, Where's My Nobel Peace Prize? The first 365 days of Barack Obama. Throughout its long and lavish history, YouTube.com has been responsible for the broadcasting of the cultural milestones of this generation. Who could forget Serious Baby, Angry Squirrel, or The Star Wars Kid? But perhaps no milestone is quite so important, or quite so pointless, as the rocket ship rise to fame of those ravishing rock stars, the Mop Tops. Their seriously solid skills and practically perfect playing of the Beatles rock band took the world by storm. Their videos generated more hits than Chocolate Rain or Susan Boyle combined. So, ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves, for what you are about to witness is the true story of how four young chaps from Thornhill went from vagrant vagabonds to viral video sensation. Let's rock! One, two, three, five! The Mop Tops were formed of Jay Lemon, an expert guitarist with a passion for love, Peter McCool, just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. He took his guitar going anywhere. Greg Harris, a quiet, solemn player with a tendency to get the munchies. And Ricky Shaft, a no-talent drummer who couldn't keep a beat. We were just both friends playing rhythm games, but we weren't just the Mop Tops. In other rock bands, we were... Paramedics, Hunts and Roses, Bon Jovi, the list goes on and on. But when the Beatles rock band came along, the games were over. There, four friends decided to do something serious. We tried to make different names for our band in tribute to the Beatles. We thought the Mortals was a better name than Three and a Half Man, with Ricky obviously being the half man. Martin Epstein, a neighbor of Harris's, was a well known YouTube filmmaker and producer with hits such as Baby on a Pogo Stick and Cookie Power. Epstein had been following the Mob Tops and watching them play. He saw his chance to make them viral video superstars. I saw great potential in these guys and I thought I could make them huge. They were going to be my next big hit after Elephant in a Blender. Epstein produced the Mop Talk's first video, Twist and Shack. Within 24 hours, the video generated 12 million hits. Once we got that first hit on YouTube, we knew that people wanted more of us. Amongst those 12 million viewers was a famous podcasting host, Ed Shulevin, of The Ed Shulevin Show. I really liked their work, and I wondered if they wanted a spot on my show. Epstein had confirmed that the Mob Tops would be making a video appearance on the show, directed and produced by Epstein himself. He then invited the band to his private recording studio and media room. Alright boys, let's go. Where are we going? You'll see. Alright, okay. Where's mine? Oh, there it is. Here you go. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sure you guys will love this. <laughs> Within hours of the video being posted, it had broken the views limit and fans were clamoring for more of the mop tops. Thousands of comments on the video were directed at us, begging us to play more songs in front of new venues like the Sky Dam, Yankee Stadium, the Budokan, and the Sydney Opera House. After the show's success, videos of the mop tops began to circulate and appear on many major blogs, and those videos began to get replies. But when I get home to you, I want to be 
This press coined the term Mop Top Mania, and the entire World Wide Web took notice of the Mop Tops. When not in class, fans were welcomed by Epstein to watch the Mop Tops rehearse and make their videos. I love the Mop Tops, especially Peter. He's my favorite. I even made a doll of him so I could take him wherever I go. Isn't that right, Peter Schmoopsy Poo? I've never seen that many girls in my life, but I don't think they were into me. They were all over Peter, though. I mean, they were all over me. What do you mean by that, Peter? All over me! Over the next two months, the Mop Tops created even more videos, each one more popular than the last, and each one breaking another record, including some that YouTube did not even know existed. Top view in Canada, daily. Top view video of children playing plastic instruments, daily. Top viewed in Sudan, monthly. I didn't get an award. After this period of popularity, the Mop Tops made an announcement on their Facebook page that they would be taking a three-week hiatus to catch up on their studies. During this hiatus, Ricky introduced the group to the magic of Pixie Sticks. I've been on this stuff since I was six! Is that why you can't keep a beat? We all got into it, especially Greg. Greg, he was addicted. Couldn't get him off the damn stuff. It's not an addiction, I can quit any time I want. See? Half a stick. So guys, where are the pixie sticks? There are no pixie sticks. What? This is an intervention. For Jay? No. For you. Come, Greg. Have a seat. After many hours of talking, nothing was accomplished. <laughs> After they had wiped the sugar from their faces, the Mob Tops agreed to return to the fake music scene on one condition. Epstein had to cancel the public recording sessions. We thought we were endangering our fans. I didn't want them to leave, but apparently having girls hanging off you while you're playing guitar is dangerous and illegal. Even though they closed their public shows, the Mob Tops were still uploading videos to YouTube and earning more and more awards. I was glad to get back on the scene. I mean, I thought we could keep going and going and going and going and going and going. The Mob Tops went from success to success. They were King Kong standing on top of the Empire State Building. Only this time, there were no airplanes to shoot them down. But as we all know, even King Kong has to listen to his parents. And when Epstein's parents decide to make Aaliyah to Israel, the Mob Tops were forced to find a new manager. As the Q one, I thought I'd be the natural choice. It wasn't so much of a choice as Peter insisting. Okay. Is this is such a harsh term. I prefer conquer. <sighs> I miss Epstein. This sucks. During these tough times, Jay began a bromance with Yo Yo Noko and brought him to see the band play. Mold up the sings? Sure. Go full. Alright, so you just have to go in the mic. What? 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 He really wanted to sing with us, but he was just terrible. I mean, he couldn't even get a two-phrase note streak. Guys, let's play it's getting better. No, 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 let's play something. Now, for goodness sake, Greg, all he wants to do is sing. Yeah. Let's play Revolution. What? No, I don't want to play Revolution. What's wrong with the Revolution? I hate your songs, boy! Why do you always do that? I hate your songs, boy! I hate your songs, boy! I want to play Yellow Summer. I hate you! I don't know why you 
By then, the group realized that this would be the end. I don't know why we had to break up. We were doing so great, and everyone was getting along so well. We hated each other. Both Peter and Jay called the rest of the band to tell them it was over. Greg soon oh, followed suit. Darling, please believe me. I'll never do you no harm. Believe me when I... After I got the phone call, I just put my guitar down and told Ricky he was on his own. I haven't done this in six months. He told me to, and I quote, learn how to keep a beat, you beatless bum. End quote. Ricky tried his hardest to get the band to perform one more show together before they broke up for good. When I got in contact with the others, they all said the same thing. Ricky had posted on the Mop Tops Facebook group that they would be performing their last public concert ever on January 30th, 2010. Due to the lack of word of mouth, the only person who showed up to this concert was Peter's dad. However, he was only trying to clean out the gutters. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Get off the roof. No Don't one's coming. Let me down. Get Don't let me down. The last video the Mob Tops posted on YouTube was their performance of the Abbey Road Medley. Final score nearing 4 million, earning gold star status. The mob tops were no more. It was the end. There are places I remember. Oh, we are safe. Give Love you.